modern brain surgery includes removal of various kinds of tumors that grow within the skull, within the brain and from the outlets of brain like the nerves which are coming out from the brain. And also many blood vessel abnormalities like what we call a balloon like dilatation aneurysms and the AVMs. The, over the years, the complex neurosurgery has been made easier by the technologies like the diagnostics as involved with the uh, uh, MRI scanning and the present day CT scanning which will tell us accurately where the tumor is growing and what is the displacement of the brain or its nerve or its vessels are happening. And then we have intraoperative technology like microsurgery and today we have also got what is known as minimally invasive surgery called the endoscopic brain surgery. Now let us see what is this brain skull based surgery. We know that the entire brain is situated inside the skull. The skull itself is a complex bone made up of multiple smaller pieces so as to accommodate various structures the largest being the brain and next are the ears and the inner ear where the nerves are processing our hearing, then the eyeball and the optic nerves, the, eye, the nerves which carry the images from the eye and then the multiple other 12 nerves what we call cranial nerves which all come out directly from the brain into different parts of our face and neck carrying out vital functions like swallowing and smelling and the movement of our tongue, chewing and even our breathing control through what is known as vagus nerve, the heartbeat, etc. So the skull, the base of the skull from where the blood vessels enter the brain as well as the these cranial 12 nerves come out of the brain to uh, supply the very vital structures are there and so this base of the skull is very complex area and difficult to approach unlike other areas we have to operate in situ what we mean by that is the brain that is sitting on top of the skull cannot be disturbed that means we have to develop an approach by removing a portion of the brain the skull and using the natural forces like the gravity to position the place to get small openings like maybe 1 centimeter, 2 centimeter gap maximum and through which we use either microscope or we use an endoscope which through which we can pulverize the tumor and take it out and it is a laborious process but it is made significantly safe with magnification available today. So skull based surgery has evolved from a stage about three to four decades ago when it used to be considered as something impossible to treat to today it can be treated very well. It needs dedicated surgeons who are specially trained in skull based surgery and a larger unit which is comprehensive which has all the technologies available from the diagnostic to the intraoperative facilities as well as post operative care. They need a special neurosurgical ICU where these patients can be uh, rehabilitated because they have got the vital nerves involved like the vision, breathing, swallowing and the heartbeat. So they may be temporarily disturbed. So they all have to be monitored till they get back and they are reset and some of them are to be trained for a longer duration with the neuro rehabilitation team. So Apollo has made an effort. I am happy to say I am a part of it that most of its center has these experts who are trained in skull based surgery and almost all these centers are full fledged uh, facility wise from diagnostic till rehabilitation. So today is the day when we are looking at modern neurosurgery where about 20 percent of brain problems in terms of tumors which can be cured and the blood vessel issues like the skull based aneurysms and various other kinds of uh, tumors can be tackled safely.